And now to reveal his personal TV heaven and telly hell, please welcome my guest from Peep Show, David Mitchell. <laughs> David, thanks for coming on. Now, this, this show is all about what you love and hate on the television. Now, firstly, do you watch a lot of telly? Yeah, I, I do. I watch a lot of television. I, I watch, unfortunately, I watch a lot of shit television. <laughs> I, I think I should watch, you know, like Bleak House or, or the BBC Shakespeare's or, you know, The West Wing, and I should get it on DVD and I should obsess about it. <laughs> but actually, I just spend all morning watching endless programmes about couples buying houses or people finding things that they are told are antiques in their attic and then actually they only get £2.50 for them. <laughs> and, and then I get very depressed and, and very angry. <laughs> so let's start off with your first choice and we're going to take a look at a show that you, you, you hate and it was designed yeah. to fill the, you know, the religion spot without being too religious. It's the Heaven and Earth show. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether they're fans of the Heaven and Earth show. <laughs> That's the way the Heaven and Earth show fans show their appreciation. <laughs> um, by, by groaning to show yeah. that they're still, you know, maybe not alive, but certainly undead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, Heaven, Heaven and Earth show is, is just a, a, absolute, a completely lamentable piece of television. In that, um, it, it's, supposed to, it's sort of supposed to be about religion. It's supposed to be religious broadcasting, but they're afraid of mentioning any specific religion. Mm. So they're just, everyone there is, is supposedly nice and a bit spiritual and open to other people's ideas. And that's not what religion... Religion isn't about being open to other people's ideas. Religion <laughs> is about saying, this is my idea, I'm right, mm. and at, at best, people who haven't got that idea should try and adopt it. And at worst, we should send a crusade against them <laughs> and try and kill them. So it, they completely miss the point of religion. <laughs> Let's have a look at a clip. What this shows is, even when they go to a church, they just turn it into a cookery show. Just walking around this mighty cathedral can really work up an appetite. And the man that knows this all too well is Ian Brady. It's his responsibility to feed the 400,000 visitors who come to the cathedral every year. How long on your Caesar salads going out from a table of four? And check out this 15th century graffiti. Isn't it weird how we're fascinated by those who left their mark generations ago and are outraged by those who do it today? And that's, you know, that's a spectacularly banal point. And he's also, he's referred to that, I think I heard him right, as 15th century graffiti. And that says 1671. Now, even, even if you're the sort of moron who thinks that the first two numbers are the number of the century, which they're not, that would be 16th century. Actually, it's 17th century. He can't read numbers. That's, that's the level of presenter that they've been reduced to. Mm. Well, what, you, what you really want is an extremely angry Muslim cleric. <laughs> There's a the sort of thing they have on this show. They, they do this every week. They send a celebrity off to, to find out a bit about religion. And in, in this clip, they send Melinda Messenger off to an island, right, to find out about Buddhism. But they don't call it Buddhism because that's religion. They call it bit of me time. <laughs> I'm really excited about being here on this retreat in Holy Island because everything I know, which is not a lot, has come from books. So to have the opportunity to get a one-to-one -one is absolutely incredible. I'm really looking forward to it. What can I expect from this course? I don't think you can expect too much. <laughs> He's honest, isn't he? Yeah. He's honest. <laughs> That's what you know about Buddhists, they're honest. <laughs> He's looked at her, lips and tits, and he... I don't think you're going to get a lie out of this. <laughs> you're honest, love. I don't think it's for you, really. <laughs> Spiritual. You're going to go skiing or something. You're probably... <laughs> no, but she's hardly the, you know, Jeremy Paxman of daytime, is she? You know, she's not going to get to the root of it and start saying, hang on, you believe that? That's bollocks. <laughs> and, yeah. and that's what you want. But, I mean, the idea of sending a page three model off to do... I mean, they're going to send, like, you know, Linda Lusardi off to check out the Taliban. <laughs> <or something. laughs> I mean, the Argos Christmas catalogue is more spiritual than this. <laughs> if someone had a crucifix on, they'd probably pixelate it, wouldn't they? Yeah. Like... <laughs> but, you know, it, it would be like Top Gear, where they're, where they're saying, of course, we know it's important for people to get around in, in mm. whatever way they find <laughs> most effective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You might need a form of transport. Yeah. Not saying it's yeah. a car. But let's, <laughs> let's, ex let's extend full respect to the people who choose to stay still. <laughs> <laughs> 
And also, it's, it's just everything in it is fair enough. They can get someone on that says, oh, I, I believe in ghosts. And it's all, oh, right, does that help you? You know, why? What, what experiences of ghosts have you found particularly moving? Nobody's going, that's bollocks. There's no such thing as ghosts. Fuck off with your ghost idea. You know, and, and, they, and they can't have religious people on, because that's exactly what they say. You sit someone who says they believe in ghosts next to a cardinal. The cardinal's going to attack him with a, with a, a, a crucifix-shaped sword. Yeah, no, you're right. It is. It's... it's... <laughs> I didn't realise quite how angry you could get about this. Show. I'm impressed. Yeah. See, I think I, I agree with you. I, I think you're right. If you are going to do religion on telly, it should be God, the devil, heaven, hell, angels. Yeah, that's and all what's that. missing. Hell, yeah. heaven and earth, hell. Yeah. That's the that's the fun one. Yeah. Well, then we've got a clip here of something which really does. This is heaven and hell. I think this is what you want to see. <laughs> I exercise the. Every unclean spirit, by the true God, the living God, the holy God, <laughs> that they may never more hold tyranny over thy soul and give place to Christ, his power, his pardon, and his peace. <laughs> prepared by God and give praise to Christ, his power, his pardon and his peace. <laughs> so we'll move on now. It's one of your TV heroes. He's a presenter that some people find annoying.